U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis has reaffirmed the strength of the South Korea-U.S. alliance, noting that recent developments on the P Korean Peninsula have further intensified that bond, referring to a phone call with South Korea's Defense Minister Song Yong Moo over the weekend. Mattis said the two sides are maintaining broad collaboration and remain in constant contact with each other. That sentiment was also reflected by a visiting U.S. diplomat in charge of Korea affairs. Mark Lambert said Tuesday that he does not plan to discuss the withdrawal of U.S. forces in South Korea during his meetings here in Seoul. And reflecting on the strong alliance, U.S. F-22 Raptor fighter jets have arrived in South Korea for an annual joint exercise. South Korean military officials say the jets will be taking part in the two-week-long Max Thunder exercise that begins next week.